All right, everybody, welcome to Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2007. Okay, so for having the other ones on there, we get a little thing. But uh, the first thing we're going to have to do, unfortunately, is turn the music off. Um, yeah. Because, again, that gets copyright, or, or not copyright claim, but, well, that too, but, um, it'll get blocked sometimes. You never know when it's going to happen. It depends on the record label, I guess. You get blocked in other countries. Um, but anyway, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 07. And let's see, difficulty options. We'll just leave things normal. Uh, what the hell? Oh, these are options. I, mean, yeah, I thought I was in the main menu for some reason. Okay. I'm guessing my tour. Team resume. What is this? Critical. Okay, no. Game. Oh, game face. There we go. New. All right, so page twenty-seven, super white. <laughs> uh, five seven. I'll keep the difficulty at what it is. Do you want to continue refining the character's face, body, and clothing? Yeah. Who doesn't? Um, in 2007, I remember uh, really liking 2007. Um, don't want no fade. I usually just go shaggy, I think. Ugh. Or short, because the hair, hair and stuff isn't great. And you have to wait for it to load in before you can even go. Okay, so not even very many. Ugh. I should have just kept it with Shaggy or something. Yeah, let's go with the Mohawk. No, well, they definitely got a uh they definitely got options, I'll say that, for the hair. Oh my god, an afro. Caesar. Flat top fade. Oh my god. Okay, we're back to whatever. I'll just keep it at shaggy or whatever, I don't know. Whatever. Sideburns, hair color. Dark brown, there we go. Okay, facial hair color is black. And that's pretty much it for the <laughs> eyes, don't care. What did that do? I don't even know. I don't know what this is doing at all. I'll keep it. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. Uh. I mean, the yeah, minor hazel, so. Let's see. What, what shirt should we go with? Blue. Yeah, blue is fine. Uh. Oh, no, I don't want to buy. Those are the only free. I want black free pants. Whatever.
Shoes with no socks. Customize your swing? Yeah, why not? You're standing very, very low to the ground, buddy. Mechanic is standard alternate. I don't know what alternate is, but we'll just do that. Can I move? You can't move them, which is weird. I feel like um, the further right is just way too far. Knee flex. That seems... Like 0%, he's already flexing it the right amount, it seems. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's all fine. Okay, so we have... Alright, so this does the same thing 06 did with... We have usable experience in each one, I think it is. Oh, whoops. I hit X on accident. There we go. So if we go... Okay, no, we don't. Okay, so we only have 700. And right now, everything is 200. Okay. Well, we'll go in power. Ball striking. Putting. Spin. Yeah, and that's all we can do. It's still crazy how with the it's a, you know it's a golf game there's not too much at least in the menu graphically to load in auto save features available on mix of your progress of the game and a settings change uh yeah why not what the hell okay so my team i don't know what this is it's been so long since I played 07. No, we're good. I don't know why I went straight into my team. Okay, so we got game mode. We have team tour. One ball, team one ball, elimination mode, PGA tour, season, traditional game modes. Wow, okay. Let's see real quick as well. Uh, so, game setup. Difficulty... Okay, at least, so not right here, maybe, maybe in the PG Tour season mode it'll do it, where we can change the stuff, but. Is Team Tour the main thing on this? I don't remember. Emula elimination mode? Whoa, oh, okay, so this is a, man, this is crazy. Bloodsome, greensome. Team tour. Let's see, I guess. Tiger Woods has assembled a powerhouse team of golfers, and they're currently dominating the world circuit. Your goal is to challenge them in a quest to become the best team in the world. To have any chance to defeat them, you're going to have to build up your own team. Recruit players from around the world by proving your skills in a variety of game formats. At 
advance your team's rank high enough and you'll earn the right to take on Tiger and his crew. Good luck. Okay, I don't remember it at all for some reason. Oh, okay, so it's the match plan and stuff like that. So we have match play versus Kelly Numu. We can go to info. Um, it's front nine, 750. Um, long drives on hole seven and closest spin on hole two. Okay, let's do it. Set your lineup. Player, position in the game. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, we could have upped the ante. Your next competitor is Kelly Newman. Kelly is not long off the tee, nor is she much of a short game player. But what she lacks in ability, she makes up for with her smarts. She can outthink anyone out here on tour. So, they must have got some big backlash for taking out the video bios of the, the um, players if they added them back in 07 but took them completely out in 06 <clears throat> good afternoon everyone I'm Gary McCord welcoming you to the always challenging Pumpkin Ridge Golf ladies and gentlemen our next competitor is on the tee okay so I like the whole visual layout more than 06, where we saw a bit of yellow. Ooh. Not a good swing there. But our... Oh, You're bunker. a great storyteller, okay, David. Okay, so it went really, really low again. Kind of like 06. Uh, again, I don't remember um, a lot about 07. But I'm thinking we might have to do the ball thing again, where we move it with our right joystick while swinging they also changed the, the fast forward button the from X to triangle for some reason sand's not too bad though Ooh. oh god how did it only go 60 yards cat tip user spin I know I don't want tips don't give me a tip Okay, I'm trying to see uh, how not to. Okay, so a little bit left on the joystick. Check that swing. It's on its way and it's looking good. How is it so short? This to save par. All right, some stuff to. Uh... I'm gonna give this ball a whack. This is a long putt. Some stuff to really figure out, I guess. <laughs> Not gonna be pleased with that bogey. Yeah, whatever. First hole. To win the hole. Dang it. That's nice. We'll probably lose the first hole, but that's alright. No, we tie. Oh, thank God. Bogey there. That's not gonna get it done. So. Uh, what's going on? The BMW Championship is going on now. Um, and the second round, the only real as I'm recording this, um, is the one that oh, is the closest to the pin. Is the one that has finished. Oh man, it just flew to the right. And what is going on with it being so short? What was that 30 yards short somehow? Maybe I don't need to do the ball thing. Well, none of us got the closest to the pin. Uh... Alright, not horrible, but it flew to the right. Um, and Bryson DeChambeau went minus 12 on his second round. Minus 16 for the tournament. Uh, and so far is... In the lead or tied? That's not really nice. How did that miss? Newman for par. It was straight in. 
Nicely done for par. Whatever. Um. So yeah, he went crazy. Two eagles, no bogeys. But I uh, play with the suspended due to here. weather. Um. So I think there's not too many. Probably. I think a total of like eight to ten people. What the? Why is... No. Is that what's screwing me up? Screwing me over? What? Not really a good spot to go for the flag. That's a tough break. <sighs> Trying to figure out what's going on. I should have just done a practice round or something. We're gonna quit and just do a practice round because I don't know what's going on with the swing. But um, yeah, I think it was only like eight to ten people that couldn't finish, but they only have, I think one group has like four holes to go and then most of them just have like two or three. So they'll probably finish that up um, at some point early on tomorrow and then head out for the third round. But yeah, it's getting exciting. It's crazy that I think the last two or three tournaments um, uh, I can just do play now. Yeah, The last two or three tournaments the first round into the second round the scoring has been just insanely low like I've never seen or not never good afternoon but ladies I haven't and seen now on the tee, the next competitor. then uh, okay so you can feel it in the controller when you hit it and it's not like good contact you can feel like this little bump or something. Why does it keep doing that? Whoops. Um, I don't like the look of this. But what's this weird is, is no the last two shots money. were actually good. It was just, you know, where we were. Like that, you can feel, you felt something, but it was uh, still good. So I don't there. Know. Um... Ooh, and this still uses the putting method from 06, unfortunately. Up, oh, see, it's five, it's five inches up. It's telling me that if I hit this and it, it was level, I think that's what this is telling me. Um, there we go, 6.7 inches up. So I should be good, and it should still go a little bit past the hole if I miss. But it's short. An ugly double bogey here. So, that to me just makes no sense. If you find the fair. Now, see, watch. Now, stop it. Okay, we can set it. I don't. See, is that my controller or is that the game doing that? No, I don't want to punch it. I want to know if that's the game or is that the controller that's moving this frickin' ball. Not the best result here. Jesus, can we really only hit it 180 yards? But anyway. It's looking like I'm going to have to do this on shots because for some reason it's just like 06 and it goes like 10 feet in the air if you don't do it for some reason. Okay, so this says it's 6 inches down. 
This says I'm aiming 4.4 .4 inches down. 4.1. Or 3. Point whatever. So this should go past. Yeah. That putt should have gone in. Okay. Can't we'll do one more hole. See if we can get a six on this one to get that perfect number in there. You know what I'm saying? A slight draw around. But uh anyway. Okay, so no. 223 and 246. So why? Okay, how far Shank is this? this? One. Okay, 239. And it's in the rough. I was going to say, why is everything going insanely short? But I guess it was... I mean, I just don't know. It's It was weird. Okay, up 3.6 inches. This says 3 inches up, but I know if I hit it, it's going to be short, so I have to do this. Look at that. Slight miscalculation. Because I had to hit it so hard, I didn't take any of the break. This medium distance putt shouldn't be too difficult. And that was somehow short. Okay. So, putting still doesn't really make sense. You don't need to save none of this, god dang it. Uh, but don't worry, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Don't save any of this, god. Oh, this was back when they Nike released the Sasqu Sasquatch drivers. You can see Tiger has one right there in the picture. Let's go back into it. But uh, anyway, we'll get back to uh, golf stuff. Um, yeah, the scoring has been super, super low in the... Uh, well, it's up the ante, I guess. With a, Okay, so it's still these. But remember, we don't need money for attributes, so there's no reason. We can skip that. We just saw it. Um, it's been really, really low. I think the, uh, shoot. The first FedEx Cup playoff, they went pretty low on as well. And then I think the tournament. Good afternoon, everyone. Before that, or the. Ladies and gentlemen. Or two before that. The they went really low. It was something like that. I can't remember. But, um. Okay, this should be a good hit, right? Let's see how far it goes. This should do the trick. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next golfer to the team. Okay. But uh, it's been crazy to see. She's in the rough. 120 yards to the hole. Here. And unfortunately, poor, uh, poor Colin Morikawa, man. He was way up there. He won the open, and then well, see what it takes to stay out of trouble. The, the first FedEx Cup playoff, he had an injury. I think it was his back. Yeah, it was his back. Newman for And Paul. he missed the cut. Which I felt, you know, he was high enough up there in the FedEx Cup standings that he could afford that and still right. get to the next one. What that was. Uh, so it was probably a good thing so that he could rest. But I, I think that he said he still has that because after the second round, you know, he's three over par and everything. So he was having a, pr a pretty solid the only year. Real threat at the second hole. And all of a sudden just... When it came down to one of the most important uh, one of the most important times in their season, the FedEx Cup playoffs, boom, he gets hit with an injury. It's tough. Oh what? Oh, I won the closest to the pin. I skipped it. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here. All right, it's uphill 1.8. We're gonna have to do that. Breaking a touch to the left, but I feel like the uphill or the 
speed at which this putt is going to be hit. Or can we do it like this? It's uphill two inches. Wait a minute. So the... I don't know. Yeah, it went way too hard. Human for power. No yeah, for that I'm glad. I deserve to make that putt, but the, the putting in is so for bogey. so weird. Maybe I yeah, kick that ball. Maybe I should have done a tutorial on putting. I might do right that here. after this round. Takes the hole. Um, just to see how it's supposed to be done. Um. The fun starts here. But anyway, my Goffin's been eh, a little weird lately. Oh, we couldn't fly it. It's got okay. some work ahead of it I didn't here. think we'd be able to, but tried it anyway. No, I think it was uh, last week. Last week I played once, but then the two, both weekends before that, it had pretty much rained almost the whole weekend, or stormed, and didn't get to play at all. Ooh, she got over the water. It's not the worst rough I've Medium. seen, but it's not the best either. We'll go there. Oh, it, it did that weird thing where you hit a bad shot. Let's go with this. I, I don't know why I'm trying to put spin on it like it's gonna do anything. I've been wrong before. Oh, Jesus. Missed opportunity there. A disappointing bogey. Disappointing. Yes. I have this one as well. For a half of the hole. Hopefully. It's um. But yeah, it's it's been a really weird time for me playing. I try. I played today. I was gonna Four walk 18, but I ended up only walking nine because it it was over a hundred degrees outside, and I got to just like hole number. After hole number four, I was like, yeah, I'm only doing nine. I don't even know if I want to finish the, <laughs> the nine I'm playing. Just well, sweating bullets out there. From there. But, um... I'm trying, and I know, you know, you don't really want to try and do a bunch of new stuff. Basically in the middle. Well, this is I guess towards the end of the golfing season, but there's still September, October, and November. That has pretty nice weather over here, so I still have another three months. And then sometimes even in December, there's some pretty good days to play, so. Um, but, uh... Thing was, I bogeyed the first hole because of a bad drive, and then a equally bad uh, chip shot. Uh, let's put this. Even though putting's horrendous, uh, we'll do this because if it's at least only a little bit short, at least it's not going to be you know six foot long. Oh. That was four foot short, so it didn't really matter. How is it downhill now? It's up. Got the birdie. But, um, second hole, I had a, it was, the, so the second hole was the shortest hole at my course. It's 325 from the back tees. Um, so you know you gotta go, you gotta go driver every time. And that's water. Because somehow with a power shot, that doesn't even carry 
to what it said it would carry to, which makes no sense. She I played it insanely safe. To plan on this whole... That's something that was seriously frustrating and in, in these games. This isn't so bad. It says it's gonna carry one one sixty, but guess what? It only carried one thirty. Why? Who knows? Honey, for bogey. You don't know, we don't know. Don't let this fool no you, knows. it's a makeable putt. Not gonna be pleased with that bogey. Um So I hit my driver and it was probably almost the, the furthest I had hit it on that hole. It wasn't, but it was close. And I was about 25 yards out. That's in for bogey. But unfortunately, it's, it was in the left rough. Because if you hit anything that far on that hole and it's not directly in the middle or the right side of the fairway, it's going to go into the left rough because it's just sloped that way. Um, this tee shot it was, is not... It was probably about three foot above above you at that point where I was the uh, hole I mean about, about a yard above you uh, it was a bunker in the way I'm in the rough so I have to hit a high one just to get anywhere near the hole and I just freaking I don't know if I hit it too hard she deals with the rough here. or maybe there's I there's nothing difficult it, with this shot should be a piece of cake you know just a tad bit thin but it actually went over the green <laughs> and so I had chipped it back and then marker. made a a bogey putt but see downhill wind is calm I don't think there's any actual wind this should carry with power I, mean, I know we don't have much power but it's Still power a difficult putt from here. Um, and then the third hole on the green but I was like 35 40 foot away two putted um, Kelly Newman for par. Fourth hole. I uh, used my five wood off the tee. Ended up left rough. Now putting for the match. About 160. Hey. I don't want her as a teammate. But um, anyway, it was about 160 with the ball above my feet because I was on that kind of lie. Um, so I choked down on my 9 iron, just hit a full 9. I was pin high, just about 20 feet to the right. And it lips out for a birdie. I'm like, are you kidding me? New character available will be added to your team. Do you wish to go there now? No. Um, but we've unlocked Pops Masterson and Felicia Brown. Um, so the putting does seem to be 06, so we'll skip the tutorial now and just go straight into another one. Um, yeah. Edwin the Cantankerous One is a sorry sort who would like nothing better than to kick your tail. Edwin can't hit it that far, but he hits everything dead straight and will snatch victory from you if you're not careful. Love that they put those back in there. But, um, the fifth hole... Anyway, we're going to the fifth hole, and it's... Well, I am. It's just me. I am just drenched in sweat. And all I'm thinking is... <laughs> I don't know if I want to play anymore. <laughs> but, uh, it's a par five. Welcome to today's event. Now teeing off our next competitor. Hey, what is that horse? With the, uh, ball... But, um, it's par five. I mean, it's 500 and like 50 something, 560. But, um, this par five, if you don't hit your driver within a 10 yard window, you're gonna be either right rough or you're gonna Let's hit a tree left. And just have no chance of getting it anywhere near the hole. Or near the green, I should say. It's on the green, but it could have been a lot better. So. I'm trying something slightly different with my my swing. 
And the the trees to the left that you they're know they're overhanging goes in. the um, the fairway by a good bit. Oh, didn't didn't break as much as I thought. And I'm like, let me just try to go over. <laughs> you know, bogey there. That's not gonna get it done. And to carry the trees, I'll say this: to win the hole, you Don't have to carry now. it. And that wins the hole in the air. 300, which I didn't realize until I got down there because I'm thinking I never really looked at how many trees are past that one that are overhanging as well, and it's a good bit. Long hitters um, can. So I hit it, and I hit just probably the best drive that you can hit. I mean, it's center of the club face launches. The right, the right height, it's over the tree by maybe a couple of feet. So I'm thinking it's over, it's in the fairway since it launched that high over the tree. You know, I should be no more than. I'd say it's about 10, oh, wow. 10 yards. So he won that long stick. drive thing. Crazy. Um. It's a lovely spot for a picnic. So I go down there and I'm like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see where this this is. I should I shouldn't even be 200 yards out. You know, that's how far I'm thinking you it should be. Kick yourself after a shot like this. And it must have clipped a tree or a limb, I should say, as it's coming down because it's it's where I normally am, oh, that's right side fun. of the or left side of the that's fairway, why. and it's like, oh, well, this obviously clips something. So, a little bit of a disappointment at the end of that, but I, I hit a fantastic drive, there's no doubt. But, um, hit my second shot and that that to about 60 yards. Fantastic approach. Hit my third one up there to about That's a birdie. two or three feet, made the birdie putt, so, you know, I got a birdie on that par five anyway. Um... Then we get to a dog like right par four, hit my hybrid into the fairway. Then I'm about 160 Trees to 165, a little bit uphill, so I just take a full nine and get that one up there. I'm looking at a whole high, just a little bit to the right, um, probably 20, 20 feet, yeah. And again, just. I was three to four inches short on my putt. Wow, he really can hit it a lot further than me. Um, but yeah, just a tad bit short. Did I hit it hard enough? Yes. But you're being good too team. hard. Um, so an easy par there. Then we go on to the next par five. Can't use driver on this one. But, um,. Drive it a little, uh, pull it a little bit into the left rough that with my no hybrid. Um, then it's funny, I I use, get my three wood. See, is this too much? Let's see. It's okay. in the cup. I get my three wood out and I haven't been hitting my woods very good. I need to practice. And just left. Right off the bat, but luckily it was pretty low. So it hits and then hits a tree. No, it's not in uh, not a tree in the woods. It's just a tree in the left rough, and then just flings to the right. Um, still in the rough, but just barely. So I'm like, oh, thank you. That saved me from having to go and try and hit out of the trees. Um, about a hundred and ten yards out. Um, sit nicely. I just take a sand wedge and. What the? That's definitely not going to end up on this course. <laughs> Take a sand wedge, and it, it's sitting too nicely. I get a little bit under it, um, and it's on the green but short and right, so it's like 45 foot. So I just two putt that. This putt for birdie. Par, you know, can't Nothing complain. Nothing to think about here. It's straight in. Nice little birdie putt there. Uh, then we get to the eighth hole, which is a par three, a long one, 201 yards. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. You know, because I can hit a seven iron, 201 yards. No. But I will Aim say, if I would have teed it up a little bit lower than what I did, 
or had just hit a little bit more down on it. I probably could have gotten it there. It was just a little bit short. Unfortunately, not a... It was actually a great little pitch. It was about 15 yards. Um, but I only had about two feet where I could land it. And it landed just a foot past that and ended up rolling about 15 foot out. I missed the putt by an inch and just bogey. So it's so back to two over. Then the ninth hole can't hit driver. So I hit my three hybrid. The hole, I'd play safe. Uh, hit it pretty good. In the fairway. Um, caught it just a hair high on the club face, so it kind of just went a little high. Um, so I was still 200. I was still 220 yards out, but I didn't realize the pin was in the back. I thought it was in the front, so I went with my five hybrid instead of my four. It was just a little bit short. Short of the green, too, but... Oh, no, wait. No, I wasn't short. I was whole high, but to the right. And this again. Ooh. Nowhere to land it. So I have to do a flop because it's nothing but thick rough. Then you have fringe and green. A big putt here and the, for the hole, hole is probably 15 feet after the fringe. That's wow, one the hole. hole. What the? Pops, what are you doing? Um... But I uh, hit a pretty good flop actually, and it just sat immediately once it hit the green, which difficult. I was very surprised of because it was, it landed on the slope, and then only moved about a foot, which I thought it was gonna roll a lot more than that coming from the rough. I had about the 12 footer from my par, and made it. So I, I ended the day two over, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, lately it's been four or five after nine, which has been just horrendous. Um, have to play it from the rough. But one huge thing, last week and this week, my putting has been fantastic. It's going to take a miracle so, to sink this putt. I want to make a little update video on my clubs and stuff because I don't think I'm going to be changing them for the foreseeable future because um, I got an, a couple of different ones now that's close really close since the last video I made a nasty break to the left here yeah, start really this uphill. one outside the hole on the right I don't want I don't want that now. Ooh, it's close it's all over Alright, okay. But um, anyway, so I got a new putter, because the last one, honestly, I, I had ordered this one and it was supposed to be a certain length and it came shorter, so I'm going to just bring it to Dick's for a trade-in or whatever for some money. Um, uh, screw it, let's do Felicia Brown as well. One Ball is a brand new multiplayer game mode that is unlike any other. As the name implies, two or more players will alternate their shots and play only one ball. This leads to a great deal of strategy because one of your opponents is going to play from where your shot ends up. You must, however, adhere to some rules while playing one ball. For instance, every shot off of the tee, each player must hit it half the distance towards the pin. Otherwise, they will lose their turn. This is called a betrayal. Hitting it out of bounds or in a hazard will cause you to lose two turns, so you must remain accurate and hit it within the circle. The golfer who gets it in the hole takes it, so you must choose your shots wisely and decide when to go for it and when to set up your opponent with a difficult shot. So this is alternate shot. It's not 
It's not one ball, it's alternate shot. But um, anyway, so I got a new putter. And I was, man, I was waiting patiently for it to arrive too because it took about three, three weeks. And it said it was, it could take, you know, anywhere between two to six weeks or four to, yeah, two to six weeks because of, um, no, no music. Can't have the music. But uh, anyway, so, and it took about three weeks, and I got it only a day before I went and played with it, which I wanted it, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to practice with it a little bit, but I didn't really have any time, so me and my dad went out and played, and it is, I know you guys probably heard of it, it's a sick, Putter. It has the descending loft technology, so it starts at like a certain loft at the top, and it gradually gets, you know, less and less. Wow. Thank you for missing that putt. Um, and it's an arm lock. A really big grip, long putter. Wait, how did I get to one up? Okay, so it's okay, so it's different than alternate shot. I remember this. Betrayal. So weird. I just don't remember any of the stuff that goes with it. So if you, what if you betrayal yourself? Because, you know, I had two shots here. And I got it in, uh, it's 40 inches, it's a matte black finish on the putter, and it's, it's not a, I guess you can consider it a blade, but it's a it's a tad bit thicker. It's not a mallet, and it's not a blade, it's kind of in, in between. Um, and the head length, like from toe to toe, is kind of short as well. Um, and I'm gonna be honest, I love the way it feels when you putt like that. And one thing that I've been struggling with all year is my distance control, pulling putts, pushing putts, and after practice, well, I guess I practiced on, you know, the first, we did practice on the green before the round, but uh, after practicing with it, and then playing a couple of rounds with it, I've three putted once from very far away, which in two rounds, only three putting one time for me is very good because I used to three putt like three or four times in 18 holes and it was bad. You know, I've made four pretty long putts, yeah, long for me, or I should say they're between 10 to 15 foot. They're not, you know, long putts. But they're the putts that you should think about, okay, I need to make this and get the birdie or save my par and stuff like that. Um, but I'm very, very happy with it. I recommend them. If you're someone who has been struggling with your putting and you really just don't have a way, you know, you can't figure out what it is, because for me, I mean, I knew what it was, I was pulling putts, I was pushing putts, I was struggling with the speed and everything like that, and so what it turned, it could have honestly just been, uh, I, sh I needed, you know, a thicker grip, maybe I was too handsy with it, and so I needed a thicker grip, that's all it could have been, and, um, but I'm liking the arm lock style. Oh, I hit a tree. Double betrayal, went out of bounds. Good luck, Felicia. <laughs> but yeah, if... Because I can't hit... I can't use mallet putters. I hate them. They 
don't feel right to me. Um, they feel really weird. And then um, switching grip types like claw grip or over, you know, with your left, my left hand under my right hand is, I can't do either one of those. Um, so I was just, you know, trying to think of a reason, and it's obvious, you know, you just practice and get better at, get better at it, but, you know, sometimes there's more to it than that, and this happened to be that. And obviously, I still need to practice with it because, like I said, I still three putted one time, um, and I'm not making as many as I'd like because, again, I haven't practiced too much with it. You know, I went and played. Well, I played 27 holes. I didn't play two rounds. Um, but very satisfied with how it's performing and how I'm performing with it. So, little update on that part. Uh, no. Callaway. Okay, so. When we come back, we're going to end it here, I guess. We're going to be match play with Salida Lopez. And so, it seems like when I turned off the music for that, it turned off just ambient stuff in general. So I guess I'll turn that back on the next time we start it up. But I'm excited for Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2007. Um, uh, let's go. No, we're not going to add a player. We'll do our stats really quick. Oh, this is just appearance. Okay. Let's say, please don't. Oh, skills. Here we go. Uh, we have usable experience 12,000. Okay. Again, is this pooled? No. Okay, I'm good with that. Um, looking forward to it. Unfortunately, it does seem to have this two downsides from 06, which is the putting mechanic is still that you either have to aim it really far or, you know, way less, and there's no in-between. You know, you have to do this distance or that distance. Um, and the ball striking, you still have to kind of move the ball a little low. Or, you know, you have to... As if you were to hit a higher shot. You have to do that still but you can set the ball, the marker on the ball, instead of holding it like you had to do in 06. So that's an improvement there. We got the bios back, the video bios. So hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day, and I'll see you for the rest of 07. Bye.